Hello everyone, uh, I am here today to do another tag. Um, I was tagged by Rainier Book on this one, which is also who created the tag. So I will put the links uh, down below. But it's basically the Prost questionnaire. So apparently there is this uh, questionnaire that Prost came up with to get to know people a little bit more. And these questions are based on that. They are very deep questions, um, not necessarily related to books. Um, but I thought it would still be fun to, to go through them. Um, so yeah, let's just start because there are a lot of them. The first question is, what is your idea of perfect happiness? And that's that starts with a punch, right? I think for me, perfect happiness doesn't quite exist. Um, but I, I think I feel happy when I'm having um, good food with friends and having interesting conversations with them. Um, I'm a simple person, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's that's something that makes me happy. Um, the second question is, what is your greatest fear? I think that for me, maybe my greatest fear is um, not being true to myself and changing because uh, outside pressures. Um, it's something that my my values are something that I hold very um, close to my heart and I think that I don't like to be a hypocrite essentially so I think that's something that I I fear. Um, the third question is what is the trait you most deplore in yourself? Um, I think I can be a bit too judgmental sometimes um, and I don't think that's a good thing um, but yeah it's to me and to others. Um, then, what is the trait you most deplore in others? Um, I think, for me, um, ignorance, but not just ignorance, like, you know the people that are proud to be ignorant, and they are proud to do things that go against all logic. I think that's something that I really deplore. Um, because if you're ignorant, that's okay, that depends on your life experiences, but if you don't want to learn new things and don't want to see new opinions and new perspectives, um, I think that is really harmful. Which living person do you most admire? Uh, that's a hard one. I think that... Um, I really admire that people that can give their lives to something they really believe in. Um, like essentially activists of any any cause, um, LGBTQ plus activists, environmental activists. I really admire those people. I think it takes a lot of strength to go through all of that for years and not get burned out. Um, so yeah, I really admire those people. Um, what is your greatest extravagance? Um, I'm not a very expensive person, <laughs> but I think that the, the one thing that I would spend my money on would be traveling. I love traveling. Obviously, um, we haven't been able to do that in, in the last year, but um, I love traveling and that's something I'm happy to spend my money on. Um, what is your current state of mind? Um, confused? A bit scared, but also, um, I think, kind of positive for the future. Um, what do you consider the most overrated vir virtue? Um, <laughs> I think that people overrate ambition. Um, I think ambition is fine, but sometimes if it takes over everything else, you forget the things that are really important. And I think that's that's a problem. What occasion do you like? Um, I guess when I don't want to hurt people, when I know that something is going to hurt someone and there's no reason for them to know them, um, I, I, I probably would like them. Um, yeah. What do you most dislike about your appearance? Um, <laughs> I guess I have never liked my nose, it's too big, but yeah. 
Uh, which living person do you most despise? Um, I think for this one probably I have to say Bolsonaro because um, I I feel very uneasy about um, the Amazon not being um, just an international resource that we all protect equally um, and the things that Bolsonaro are doing to the Amazon are going to have uh, consequences for many many generations and I don't think he realizes that or he doesn't care about that um, and the lack of re respect that he has for people it's a, <laughs> it's a bully so yeah I would say Bolsonaro um, what is the quality you most like in a man um, I guess um, Curiosity and um, kindness. I think kindness is very important. Um, what is the quality you most like in a woman? The same. Um, men and women doesn't mean much to me. So, <laughs> um, which words do you most overuse? Mm, I think I, I do a lot of... Mm, um, mm, those are not really words, but I think that I overuse them. <laughs> um, yeah, and what else? I don't know. You tell me. You probably know better than I do. Uh, who or what is the greatest love of your life? Um, I think that's a very difficult question. I mean, my husband, of course, but um, other than that, I think I really love science and I really love traveling and culture and I just love learning in general, like learning is in anything is something that I'm always trying to achieve all of the time. <laughs> and then where are you the happiest? Um, I guess that that is again either traveling or just having good food with my friends. <laughs> um, also um, swimming, it's a very happy moment for me. Um, and skiing, like that moment when you're skiing and you go down a hill really fast but you feel completely safe and weightless. I really like that too. Which talent would you most like to have? Um, I. <laughs> this is a funny one. So I have no musical talent um, but my mom um, is a music teacher and when I was younger uh, we will go to rehearsals of her students and she will try to teach me and I'm completely useless at music but I always wanted to play the oboe like that was something that I really wanted I mean now at this point in my life I don't care that much anymore but that's something that I always wanted to do um, if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be? Um, I think I would be less I think I will try to over overthink things less. I, th I overthink things all the time <laughs> and sometimes I drive my husband crazy with overthinking everything. Um, I wish I didn't have to do that. Um, that would be a, a lot easier <laughs> in on me. Um, what do you consider your greatest achievement? Um, this is going to be a cliche one but I guess finishing my PhD was a huge achievement for me um, but I think also I'm quite proud of just the holding my values um, as much as I could and also I'm proud of how independent I have become like I have at this point I have lived in four different countries three different continents um, for more than six months and I'm proud of that. I think that that's something that scares a lot of people and I am proud that I, I was able to do that. Um, if you were to die and come back as a person or a thing, what would it be? Um, I think it would be super interesting to come back as a dolphin because dolphins are such intelligent creatures and they, I feel like we think that we are more intelligent because we don't understand them um, but that doesn't mean that we actually are 
So I would love to be a dolphin and understand other dolphins and know what they think and how they interact and all that. I think that would be fascinating. Where would you most like to live? So as I said, I have lived in four different places and three different continents. Um, and what I have learned from there, that experience, is that there is no perfect place to live. There's always things that you will despise and there are always things that you will love. Um, at the moment, from all the countries I have lived, I think my favorite has to be Kenya. Just because people have such a joy of life um, that it's, it's really just empowering. Uh, even though, of course, there are a lot of disadvantages to that. Um, I think the biggest one for me was the fact that I couldn't drink tap water. That was uh, very frustrating. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think that I would, I would love to go back one day and settle there. Um, that doesn't mean I don't like living in the Netherlands. Um, but there are some things in the Dutch culture that I, it's hard for me to live with um, and obviously also in Spain um, there were things that I didn't deal with and that's why I left, right? Um, and yeah, um, I think there's no perfect place and it's just about which place is, can, in which place you can reach the best balance between things you like and things you don't like. What is your most treasured possession? Um, and for that I have to say is this photo. I don't know if you can see it. Focus. Focus. Yeah, there you go. So this is a photo that my grandpa made. Um, for And both of these people are my grandpa. He was a very artistic person. And he, he just made things like this. Um, and I don't know how, but I managed to end up with the original copy. There are copies of this photo that are all around my family, like my aunts and uncles, but I somehow finished with uh, with the original one, and I love it. I think it's from the 30s or 40s? I think 40s, maybe. 1940s? I don't know, but I think it's, it's really cool, like the idea. So he basically took this photo of himself, like covered half of the, the camera, and then without rolling it in like the analog cameras and then he made this part of the photo and then he rolled it and this is the result and I love it. I think it's super cool and super creative. What do you regard as the lowest depth of misery? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess depression? I don't know. Uh, what is your favorite occupation? Uh, this is a hard one because I'm trying to figure it out at the moment. I think something sciencey and data driven. It's um, I like facts. I don't like to deal with people. They're a lot harder than math. <laughs> what is um, your most marked characteristic? Um, I think I'm. I like to think that I'm very thoughtful in the sense of I think things through a lot. Um, the next question is, what do you most value in your friends? Um, I think honesty and kindness as before um, but also I think it's important for me that I share certain values with my friends um, because otherwise I could not complain about things. <laughs> um, what are your favorite writers? Uh, at the moment I guess I have to say Nguyen Radiongo. I feel like there are several writers that I really like um, that I have to read more of to be my favorite writers like Ruth Oseki or Gabriel Krause or people like that. Um, so yeah. um, who is your hero of fiction? Um, I think for this one I would say um, Patricia from The Overstory. I mean, she's a scientist and she's great. Um, yeah. Which historical figure do you most identify with? Um, and for this one, I mean, I'm not saying that, that I'm like these people, but um, some people that I admire and I'm want to become like them in a certain way. Um, I have two people. The first one is um, Wangari Matai. She was um, a Kenyan environmentalist. Uh, she founded the Green, 
uh, Green Belt Movement and that try to protect um, natural areas in, in Kenya and she actually got a Nobel Peace Prize for that in 2004. She has passed since but um, I really really admire her. Um, and the other person that I think it's more historical that I would say I kind of identify with is Ada Lovelace which was um, the inventor of one of the inventors of um, computer programming um, languages. Um, I think she's very cool. She also was into poetry and uh, writing and stuff because her dad was Lord, Lord Byron. So I think that combination I kind of identify with because I like many things, not just one thing. Um, and being a woman in science is always hard. Um, so I think that's also pretty cool. Um, who are your heroes in real life? I think as I said before, um, just people that follow their passion, their morals, like activists, um, stuff like that. Um, I also really admire doctors. I could never be like a medical doctor. Um, I'm very queasy about, <laughs> about body parts, but I think that it's really difficult to, to do that. Um, so I admire them too, especially right now. Uh, what are your favorite names? Um, I don't know if this refers to like names of things, names of places, names of people. Um, I So for names of things, um, I like in Swahili, um, the word for peace is Amani. And I think it's so peaceful. The word Amani is so peaceful and so um, beautiful. Um, and then for names of places, <laughs> I love Wagadugu and Antananarivo. I just think that they're funny um, and I just like how they sound. What is that you most dislike? Um, as I think I said, just the inability for people to um, acknowledge that other people exist and that their actions have consequences on other people's lives. Um, I don't like that. I think it's very um, self-centered and I don't like self-centered people. Um, what is your greatest regret? Um, I don't know how to answer this because I probably, if I think deep enough about it, I find something that I regret. But um, I don't tend to look back on these things because there's nothing I can do and I tend to be quite pragmatic about this kind of stuff. So I don't like to think about what I would have done different because I cannot change it anymore. So what's the point? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Um, how would you like to die in my sleep? Doesn't everybody want to die in their sleep so that you don't really feel it? I don't know. I, I think that's a good way to die. The last question is what is your motto? And for that I will have to say don't do to others what you don't want to be done to yourself. Um, I think that's a very decent rule of thumb for um, deciding what to, how to treat others. Um, but yeah, this was the questionnaire. I hope you enjoyed um, knowing more about me. Um, and I'm not going to tag anyone because I think these questions are very personal and not everybody would like to put this kind of thing on the internet for everyone to watch. But if you thought that it was interesting and you will want to give it a try, please go ahead and do so. It's a very interesting exercise. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. And in the next video, bye!